MSNBC recently interviewed uh, several individuals from the far right group Moms for Liberty, who you probably best remember as calling for books to be banned because they contain things that these individuals can't quite understand. But one of these Moms for Liberty by the name of Crystal Alonzo, who again spoke freely to MSNBC, suggested that LGBTQ youth in schools should be put aside in special classes, not allowed really to learn with the rest of their peers, similar to, as the woman explained, children with either autism or maybe down syndrome. To put it another way, it appears that she suggests we should stick LGBTQ youth into some kind of what special education classes. Let me read exactly what Ms. Alonzo said to MSNBC. The kids that do have their, you know, they're confused or they're, they're gay or whatnot, th that the way they're trying to go about it is to make it an open conversation and an open thing in classrooms. But like, for example, children with autism, Down syndrome, they have to have special IP meetings with a counselor. They have to be put into separate classrooms. I understand because it's a different type of education for children with those disabilities. But I think that for children that identify differently, there should also be like a specialized something for them so, so that they feel that they're important enough that they're being counseled. Several issues here, first and foremost, as the spouse of a special education teacher here in the state of Florida, I can go ahead and tell you, it's not called IP meetings, they're IEP meetings. So if you're going to talk about education here in the United States, you need to at least learn what the friggin' lingo is. And yes, for the record, this was in Florida where this happened. So at, at least get your lingo correct. Second of all, um, children with mild autism here in the state of Florida are, are not removed from regular classrooms. In fact, even some of the more intense cases of autism, uh, autism, excuse me, um, they're also still in regular classrooms, just typically with a paraprofessional. So once again, you're saying something that indicates you don't understand how the school system here in the state of Florida actually works, yet you're willing to criticize the hell out of it. And then third, and obviously the most important thing here is that you're trying to treat LGBTQ youth as if they have some kind of disability. They don't. Being gay, being transgender, those are not deformities. Those are not genetic abnormalities. Those are not mental illnesses. Yet you want them to have a special time so they can go and talk to the counselor not because they need help being accepted by their peers, but what I can only imagine, and I'm assuming here, is that you want them to snap out of it, right? And in the meantime, until I guess they snap out of it, you want to keep them what? Separate, but equal, right? You know you wanted to say that, so why didn't you just come out and say it? These are bigots, in my opinion. There was a time in the United States where we treated homosexuality, uh, being transgender, we treated those things as if they were mental illnesses. There were PSAs from the 40s and 50s, by the way, black and white PSAs, describing the condition of homosexuality as a mental illness. They said, these people are ill, they're sick. And I guess that's what these moms for Liberty want to send us back to. And why not? Right? I mean, Ron DeSantis is already sending the education system here in the state of Florida back to the 1940s. Why not go ahead and just do this too? Huh? Let's make sure that we separate all these LGBTQ kids from the rest of the population. We don't want them having to mingle with these people, right? Because you think they're sick. Well, I, think that you are the sick one. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.